In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get a job that you can do, but you're not theoretically qualified or you don't have any references to this job. I know it sounds a little strange, but this is something that I pulled off and it set me on the path of financial freedom. Hey, what's going on? This is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu, where your real financial education begins. If you wanna know about money, credit, starting a business, generational wealth, we got you. Go ahead and spank that subscribe button. Not that bean footage, that was craziness. How do you get a job that you're not qualified, but you know how to do? How does one work that out? I'll tell you my story, plus I'll give you some additional pointers on how to make this happen. First of all, you gotta know you. You gotta have a really good sense of self. You've gotta know what you're capable of or what you could potentially be capable of if you're given an opportunity. This is what I did. I got laid off for the third time in 18 months. Something in me just, just snapped. So I went home and I titled it Scheme Incorporated because I didn't really understand the proper titling of the situation. I went to monster.com. I looked for jobs that I knew that I could do. I knew it and I knew it in my little heart of heart hearts, right? I found some jobs and what I did is I crafted a resume for each job and I had set up my first reference. I applied for a job at Renegrate for telesales. I got in there, I got the appointment, I got the interview, there was two interviews, one with uh, Mason, the other one with Michael Shanley. Apparently I aced them. I get a call from Shanley, it's like, hey, Glendon, how you doing? I was like, how you doing? You get an offer letter? Nope. Then next day, <laughs> via FedEx, I get an offer letter. I sign off the offer letter, I take my drug test, I'm in. And I wait for the phone call because this was a long time ago when people carried pagers and my pager went off. They had called, it was that moment, right? And I had practiced my Indian accent. My Indian accent at point was, it was on point. I could have fooled another Indian on the phone. It was so good. They called me. Now understand, I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't even have a home phone. I had to go to a pay phone to call them back. So I go to the pay phone. And I call them back because they left a message on the voicemail, something that Google Voice does for free now. It's costing me like 31 bucks a month. They asked me two questions. Did he work for you and would you hire him again? Click. And that was in. Now, let's deconstruct that. Let's unpack it. First thing is you've got to write a resume that gets people to look at you. Also, during the interview process, you need to be clean. You need to be dressed professionally. I didn't know what it was like, but I overdressed. I had on a shirt, a tie, pants, Mason, he was in khakis and a polo shirt. But once again, uh, Shanley, he interviewed me. I still went in shirt and tie, different pair of pants. You've got to be super clean. Ladies, no flip flops. Ladies, no bad manicures. Dudes, no jacked up haircuts, no weird beards. You trying to get the job player, get in there, perform, and then act like you want to act. You may not even cross it, make it past the threshold looking like, you know, who done it. Part of the game, and it is a game, is realizing who's on first. Who do you have to impress? Who's making the decisions? I knew Mason had put, you know, the final say was Shanley. So I shined with Shannon, I was very honest. He was a Brit, he was very blunt, very forward. So we kind of clicked. Now today, and I know everybody is like, well, with databases and all these other things, this will not work today. And I would say, mm, probably it will, because once again, I'm gonna recommend the type of jobs that you should try this on. Sales job. If you can't sell yourself to the people who are hiring, you can't sell their product. It's that simple. There's a lot of unwritten rules. Uh, I had someone tell me that you had to have a degree to get a certain kind of job. She got the job without a degree. 
I told her she'd be a team leader before. Oh no, they don't hire anyone without experience for two years. They, they, they actually have talked to her about the position in much less than two years. Less than a year. This is what you gotta understand. There's a lot of people in the workforce that don't, they don't really do what they need to do. They don't, they don't show up, they don't perform. So if you're a performer, if you go in there, and also you can't be a buster. You can't get the job and then like take long lunch breaks, be chilling, be, you just barely got in, player. You can't go in there and let your hair down. No, 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 no. You have to go in there and you have to realize that, okay, I got in this job by the skin of my, my chinny chin chin. So what I need to do is to read all kinds of sales books, marketing books, and come in and apply that on a daily basis. I had a situation with getting people to call me back. I ordered this book. I don't know the name of it. It was on a website called Lumponics, L-O-M-A-N-P, Ponics, whatever, dot com. It may still exist. And I bought this book and this guy was a cold calling savant. And he gave me one technique that people were calling me back. And Shanley and Mason and Michael were like, they're calling him back. We've never had anything like this before. Yeah, that's my little gold star there. And it went very well. And then I leveraged that opportunity into another opportunity. But you've got to be able to perform. You've got to get results. One of the problems that happens to so many people is they get a job and they want to do the job their way. You can't do the job your way. You got to do the job the way that the job wants you to do it. Now, I know this channel is all about financial empowerment, starting businesses and hustling, but the simple fact is most of you are going to have to transition into a business versus just going from, hey, I am broke dick Danny to now I am classy Carl. There's a few of you that can do it. Most of you can't. That's just human nature. It's not a knock. It's not saying that you're deficient. It's just the reality of the situation. And most of you cannot make this grand leap. It's just not going to happen. It took me two years to go from that. And along the way, I acquired a lot of skills. Now, sales jobs. You should be looking at sales jobs. Now, I know that 100% commission is very scary. But if you can pull that off, that is the best job hands down to prepare you for running your own business. You got to find the leads. You got to call up the leads. You got to set the appointments. You got to close the sale and you've got to manage the process. I don't know about you, but that sounds like, man, I'm running my own business and you are. So that's how you get a job that you're potentially unqualified for. And I know in the comments, people be like, it won't work. Uh, they're going to check your, uh, in, in payroll taxes and the, not a lot of these sales jobs. No, they're not. If you walk in, you look clean and a lot of quote unanswered questions. Does this person show up on time? You be early. Does this person know how to dress appropriately? You dress professionally. You overdress. I know there's many sites that say, nah, don't do that. Dress like they No, you overdress. You dress above your pay grade. You look like money, you feel like money, you'll make money. All right, so for those of you who need additional help, go below the video. Now, there is gonna be a discount code here, and it's only gonna last for about 24 to 48 hours. So, what I'm going to do is, that's gonna be the code. It's gonna be 42 off A, 42 off A. That is good for 48 hours. You can get any course or bundle at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. The link is below the video, plus some of the appropriate bundles. If your money is funny, I suggest that you get the Superior Mindset Bundle. I'll make sure that that link is posted below. All right, kiddos, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave a comment. And put your thoughts on here on this unethical, and I will say it's unethical, because as we've been talking about lately, I am not about the criminal illegal, but I'm, a, I'm against, I'm all for the municipality, for the silly laws, for the junk law. Oh yeah, all day. I jump across that line all day. Go ahead and put your thoughts down there. Chop it up.
and be sure to get your courses within the next 48 hours. And I will talk to you later.